Good morning, good afternoon, good night. Um, I'm Black Bright and another quick video to answer somebody's question, but I've kind of given it quite a controversial title. And I've said it's for those who want to piggyback on their children, their British children, their UK children to get a visa or to get British status. Um, some, some parents feel that they can have children in the UK and then they piggyback on the child um, in order to get their UK status. Um, <clears throat> so, and then they've had situations. I mean, the government used to be quite trusting at one point. But then what happened was, is that people who were named on the birth certificate, fathers who were named on the birth certificate, weren't actually the father. So um, now what they're doing now is paternity tests, or what we call known as DNA, to prove that the person on the birth certificate is actually the father. They've also found that people are saying this is their blood relative and that is their blood relative when they're not their blood relative. So now DNA tests are being offered or people are being asked to do a DNA test, but they're saying it's voluntary, but it's not really voluntary. It's voluntary in a sense because they're not allowed to say that you have to do it. But if you don't do it, you, your application is 99% likely to get rejected and they'll put other things with it. Because the thing is, is that with the DNA test, it's the only proof that they can have. It's like a 99% proof. It's scientifically proven that you can determine um, the relationship between whether it's your mum, your dad, your aunt, your uncle, your siblings, and or your grandmother, even your grandfather. So it's the only way they can do that. And if OK, they are going to say to you it is voluntary, but if you refuse, they've got no way of proving it and it's very likely for it to be rejected. There was a big, big hoo-ha about that because um, the way it was written in a letter um, denoted that it was compulsory, it was mandatory for them to do the DNA test and they got a clobbering for that. So now so Sage Javid has come out with this um, new thing that says it's voluntary, nobody's being forced to offer it, but of course you're not going to offer it. You, they're going to say, oh well you've got something to hide, but it's not even that. You know how much it costs? It can cost up to £500. There are some um, non-accredited places that might do it for £99 or £98, but the Home Office is not going to accept it from non-accredited laboratories. Um, I think they accept it from your GP. Your GP, I'd imagine they're not going to be exploitative. I imagine they're not going to be too expensive. The only thing is, is that those who are Jehovah's Witnesses and who don't like blood tests, they might have to pay for a bit more to have the swab done and they do it in the mouth. So there's no um, there's no taking of blood. Um, but like I said, you know, some places it's 398, some places it's 500, some places it says 99 pounds. It's, it's, it's just up and down all over the place. So I really don't know. If you want to do it for um, to prove that the child is yours, I think they need it for child benefit now. Um, I think that is a different price. It's 295. It seems like they ex change the price depending on why you want a DNA. Because they know that with the immigration, it's mandatory. They up the price in, cer in certain people or certain laboratories. And if it's for like, um, <clears throat> like I said, child support and it's not so mandatory, um, they may not. But the fact of the matter is all this um, saying that this is your uncle, this is your aunt, this is your brother, it's all, it's, it, it's not going to work anymore. If you've got to have a DNA test, you can't bring anyone over if you can't prove that they're a blood relative, unless you can prove it in some other way. I'm not quite sure how, how you'd prove it, maybe through birth certificate. I, I don't know how you'd prove it because a, a birth certificate doesn't tell you the relationship between you and an uncle or you and an aunt. So that's not going to cut it. So it seems like DNA is the only way to go. So even though it's not mandatory, they can't force you to do it. It's within your interest to do it if you want your application to go through and you've got nothing else to hide and, you know, everything's above board. Of course, if things aren't above board, if you've um, if you've adopted or you're the legal guardian of a child, you would need to stopped. 
if you would need to um, be able to prove that, of course. You can't just say, I'm a legal guardian, or I've been looking after this child for goodness knows what. That get, that's not going to cut it. You're not going to get your indefinite leave to remain by piggybacking on that excuse. So, yeah, it's about, um, yeah, I think that's about it. Ciao for now.